Hello everybody, welcome back to Jockey Inc. on Ravenport with me, Golf Cart Jockey. We are just finishing up with Xavier here, getting him taken care of this morning. Uh, we've already done glue and we managed to get the um, seed runner unloaded. Uh, thanks to a bunch of comments from yesterday's video, uh, you guys uh, come through like I knew you would. I knew you'd figure out how to do it. I, I knew I'd seen it done, but I guess it was just this specific cedar that it wouldn't unload into. Um, but I used the front tank and just kept unloading into the front tank and then unloaded the front tank into pallets. So I have a bunch of seed pallets up here and we need to, to get those organized and, and put away. Oh yeah, we got our new shed put in. I think that looks pretty good. Got everything organized anyway, put away the yards in a lot better shape than it was. Um, there you can see all our pallets we have to organize. I'm going to stick them over here in front of this building, stack them up. That seemed to work pretty good. Or I could just back the cedar in there and load straight out of the pallets. So, uh, yeah, we need to get those taken care of today. Get them stacked up and put away. But, yeah, I think we're going to keep the seed runner. It was... It's still the fastest way to get eight pallets of seed up here from the store. So, uh, we're going to... We're going to keep it. We've already, you know, we put the money into it. It's not that big a deal. We can just, uh, you know, run the cedar over here and, and fill up from the pallets. So, not a big deal at all. We can we can always do it. I guess we could take the front tank out in the field, too. Yeah, I can do that on the side of the field. So, yeah, it's not that big a deal. We'll just make it work. Just an extra step in there. But, um, like I say, it's still the, still the best way. So, we're going to keep it. We're going to use it. Um, I also think... I think we're going to get more horses. Um, the way that these guys are, you know, if we're going to sell them for the profit everybody says we're going to make from them, everybody's telling me to do horses. So, um, yeah, I think we might do that. They're really not using that many resources as far as oats and hay, and I have plenty of each. Um, all it takes is a little bit of riding time, and it, it could get a little tedious, but at the same time, it's not that bad. Um, Plus, I have the luxury of, of having kids. I can just hand them a controller and let them ride the horse around for a little bit. <laughs> it'll, be, it'll be taken care of, no problem. We also might get some more sheep. Uh, oh, yeah. that's Well, the reason I'm trying to spend money is because we went ahead and maxed out the bank loan. Uh, we were, what, $300,000 away from max, so we went ahead and took that. And you know, we'll invest that money to, to try to make more money in the long run. So we'll get more horses... I've got a good amount of wool going there, don't we? I might have to come move that. Um, I'll bring the IT runner with the bale trailer right over there. And we'll set it down and bring the, the Manitou over here and move some of those wool pallets. Oh, there's the Manitou right there. So, yeah, that's why that's up here, because I have to clean the animals as soon as I'm done here. We have to clean the sheep and uh, chickens. So we got a little bit of work to do this afternoon, but... Um, other than that, and trying to get another stage of fertilization down, for some reason when the grass grew in 6 and 12, it didn't, I don't know, it, it won't let me fertilize, so I don't know what the deal is. It didn't change the fertilization state, so it's still only got 50% fertilization. So we need to try to get that fixed and, and put another layer down, and the same with field 11. Uh, it's only 50%, so we need to try to get that taken care of. And yeah, sheep aren't eating very much grass, are they? So we're going to get some more horses, maybe get some more sheep. And we may end up getting cows. I think we might get cows and just feed them hay for now. I think you can get um, a good bit of productivity out of them with just hay. Um, I've heard that somewhere. So... I think we might try that, but uh, first we're definitely going to do horses. They're so, I mean, other than the ride down, they're so easy to take care of. They're definitely a good money maker. And until the cotton grows and the grass grows, um, you know, other than the animals, there's not a lot we got going on right now. So we'll do that today. We'll expand our uh, our holdings here. Let's see. Here. Get off. Open the gate. Oh, he went back in the pen by himself. Look at that. I think Xavier knows what to do. He's a good horse. Get him all cleaned up. Jump on his back. He 
He likes it when I do that. All right, let's see here. Daily riding, 100%. Yep. Yeah, see, they're already worth $11,000. So um, just uh, the passage of time is really all you need to make money with horses. So we can, we got that. We can do that. That's definitely something, something easy for us to do. So, yeah, let's run up here. We'll get on the Manitou, start cleaning up some animals. And then we'll put the pallet forks on, and we have a bunch of pallets to move. We're going to... We're going to move these pallets, and we're going to go down to the bottom of the hill and move the seed pallets. Get those uh, lined up and organized a little better than they are. I think from experience we had to we had to clean from this way. It wouldn't, for some reason, wouldn't pick up the other way. It's going pretty good there. You guys are messy. All right. So, let's see, put this back in there. Run up to the top of the hill, take care of the chickens. Oh, racing chickens, man, those things make a mess. They're also making a lot of eggs, too, though. I imagine soon we're going to be at our uh, egg limit, so we're going to have to have to start selling those as well. I may get a little, uh, little cheap flatbed trailer, the little, I think it's a Stroutman, the first one there, that you can make a bale trailer. I may get one of those and bring up here and just park it for the uh, chicken eggs. So we can just put them all in there and, and go sell them all at once. Hopefully go sell them. I've had some issues with that and I've seen other people have issues with that, so uh, I hope so anyways. Oh, and a dog, yeah. I forgot. we got to name the dog. We've never named the dog yet. Hey, buddy. Hang tight. We'll get you taken care of. Look at the mess of the chickens. Goodness. They're messier than 38 sheep are. Yeah, what, 2,000 liters? Is that what that says? Got a lot in there. I knew that. <laughs> they make as much of a mess as they eat, don't they? I think we can pretty much just uh, keep feeding them what comes out of here. That's pretty crazy. That's a big pile of food right there. <laughs> that did almost fill them back up. That's pretty funny. Alright, so cleanliness of there will be up. Cleanliness there will be up. And horses are taken care of. Looking good, looking good. Let's, um, let me take this back down to the bottom. We'll get the pallet forks put on. And we will start, uh, I guess we'll start with the wool pallets. Whoa. Getting a little twitchy there. We'll start moving the wool pallets around, and we will catch you then. All right. We brought the bale, I think it's a, called a bale trailer from the IT runner pack. We brought it up and dropped it off. And as I sit here and look at it, I hope I didn't put it too far back in that corner over there. Hope we can still get in there to it. We got, we'll move three of these out of the way. We'll leave that one leave that one cooking. It's not done yet, so we'll get these out of the way. Maybe get them strapped down. Probably a good idea. I know us. Let's see, we don't have to get any closer than that. That's the beauty of this thing. Just extend it out there. A little closer. No. <laughs> Maybe. Come on. There's really nothing there. Close enough, I guess we'll just push it with the next one. Get that back in there. Yeah, they got... I think they fixed the, the logs okay with them getting stuck on the, the log forks, but the pallets are still way too sticky. I mean, if, if I got the pallet forks sitting on the ground, then 
you gotta let me slide out from under it, you know, that's the only reasonable way to do it here. But, hey, it is what it is, we don't have that many pallets to move. Uh, the ones, the seed pallets down at the bottom, a lot of those we can just take and push over there. We don't have to actually pick them up. We can push the bottom line in and, uh, you know, get them where we need them. Push that over. Come on, I mean, it's just, I don't know how to get out from under it. Oh, great, we got them both. <laughs> okay. Well, this is going to be a long episode if this is all we have to do today, and we'll be here forever. I don't understand. Please get off of my forks. I mean, okay. <laughs> it just doesn't want to do it. I should probably get the thing, the trailer on more flat ground, too. I'm not helping myself at all with the angle we have it at here, but, man. Look at it just sitting there wiggling. There's one way to get it on there. Alright, we'll deal with that one later. Oh, goodness. Very hard thing to do with the depth perception. You can't tell how far, how close to the ground you are. So you get in there and you get pinched right off the bat and then you try to unload it and it just won't slide out from under it. I think I'm going to have to pull this trailer out a little bit. I wanted to get it back here out of the way, but it's just too much of a bind back here. Um, not sitting flat, so. So we can push that one in there a little bit, slide it over. Yeah, it just doesn't want to go. Push it back up on there. Oops. We'll do that. Alright, we can just we'll manipulate whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> We'll manipulate them from here. There we go. Oh come on. I don't want to be in there. I just wanna push it. There we go. <laughs> Uh, yeah, obviously, this is going to require a little work. Let's see if we can slide this thing. But, yeah, let me take care of this. This is really bad. Hit it over a little bit. Close enough. All right. Let me put a strap on there so we don't knock those off. Maybe. There we go. They can stay. We'll come back and fix that one. Let's go get rid of the, or get the seed pallets taken care of down here. And I will go do that, and then I will catch you when we are, I guess when we're going to put fertilizer down. Hopefully we can get that done today. Like I say, we're stuck on 50%, so we need to get that taken care of. But uh, let me get this done, get the yard kind of organized again, and we'll be right back. All right, we got the pallets taken care of, finally. No, it wasn't too bad down at the bottom of the hill. Like I say, most of those I just pushed over, so uh, that went fairly quickly, and the grass went ahead and got to its final growth stage, so we're gonna put our last stage of fertilization on, and then we'll get straight into mowing and um, tedding. Um, I don't think we'll have to ted very much of this, I think we already have close to 300,000 liters of hay already, so uh, we'll get we should get our our limit pretty quick, and then the rest is going to go in the the bunker. So uh, we need to do that fairly quickly because the way it's set up, it it'll be grown back in, in a very short while. So um, you know that's now that we've got it grown, it should be in a pretty regular cycle. We'll be we'll be moving a lot of grass out of here over a short period of time. I hope. So, uh, yeah, we'll do that. We will start mowing. We'll bring, go ahead and bring the 8400 down with the mowers on it. 
and we will take this with the row crops on it over to field 11. Um, it is ready too. I'm hoping it will take the last stage of fertilization. I know grass does. It's taking it now even though it's fully grown, but uh, I'm hopeful that the crops do. I, haven't, I don't know that I've tested that theory. But uh, I've never let them go that far before I had them to 100%. So we'll find out here in just a little bit if uh, if that's a thing or not. But uh, being fully grown like that with the cotton, I assume that it uh, I won't be able to see very well as far as as far as what I'm uh, fertilizing. So I will uh, I'll hire a worker for that one. Probably get uh, Joe or Jesse in there to to take care of that field for us while we come over here and mow so uh, yeah that's what we got that's what we're gonna do for the rest of the afternoon it's what two o'clock two fifteen in the afternoon so it's it's getting pretty late in the evening getting getting about time to wrap it up we'll figure out what we're doing the rest of the afternoon and and get it done so it's a good thing it, this things the, the crops grew just in time so we will uh yeah i'm pretty excited about starting to fill that bunker up uh, it'll be nice to have the hay in storage, but, uh, you know, I have much more fun with silage, so I definitely want to, I want to get that part, get that part going, get back in there, get the, uh, wheel loader in there and, and start flattening out the bunker. That's, that's always a good time. So that's where, probably where I'll be doing tomorrow. So that's good. I like that. And I guess, I don't know if. I guess depending on how the fertilizer goes, well, regardless of the fertilizer, we're going to have to get the cotton field taken care of too. So I'll have to get Joe and Jesse going, uh, make sure we got the harvester up and running and well maintained and, and ready for the job ahead. So we are ready to start our cotton empires. Hopefully we can make a few hundred thousand dollars off of, off of some cotton. So like I say, we hit our max on the bank loan. We might as well start paying it back and um, yeah start making money with all the money that we've spent we should be in good shape to start making money we have every every tool you would need to make money with now it's just time uh, time to get to work and do it so not too bad we got that we can do that we will uh, I just realized when I was running my mouth down through there I didn't I didn't go over against the edge when it widened out right there did I We'll have to come back and get that edge of the field over there. But that's all right. We are almost done here. A few more passes and this field will be taken care of. So, yeah. I guess, uh, I guess let me finish this up. And uh, like I say, I will get Jesse going on this over on field 11. And I will go get the mowers on, on the big 8400 and bring them down. And we will get to work. See if... I don't know, I might get Joe to follow me with the tether while I mow, and we can get uh, get this thing flipped pretty quick. We'll jump on it, get some get some hands on deck, and get this thing taken care of. So I think that's what we'll do this afternoon, see how much of this we can get taken care of. Maybe we can have it back fertilized and growing by tomorrow. That would be great. That would be a pretty efficient flip there. So let's see what we can do. We'll be right back. All right, we got this done, got it fertilized, and like I kind of expected, uh, the cotton field would not take uh, fertilization on the part that was ready to harvest. The About a third of the field was still in its last growth stage, so it's taken it there. So we'll have close to half of the field, I guess, fertilized, but it would not. The part that was already, whoa, what is going on here? I did not hire a worker. Tried to set the cruise. Cruise control, please. Thank you. All right. Anyways, yeah. So Jesse's taking care of that. We'll have close to half the field fertilized over there for the cotton. Uh, all of it's fifty percent, but close to half of it will be a hundred percent. So I guess we'll we'll get okay yield off of it. It's not ideal, but it just it grew too quick for us. We just couldn't get over there. Uh, like I say. It went from nothing to fully grown overnight, so we didn't work all night, and I didn't think to turn the growth off, so, uh, yeah, it'll be alright. 
we'll just deal with it this time. Can't can't be that bad, right? We're still gonna get some cotton off of that field and still make a good bit of money, so we uh we'll have a fair bit of cotton and a fair bit of grass. So we got that going for us. I'm gonna stretch this grass mowing out. We're gonna take this thing out to the edges here. I will I'll do this part and get it close to the center and then I will get Joe to come take over for me. And I will run up and grab the tether and come down and do I'll probably start with like a third of the field. Uh, we'll just do it as we go until we get our 750,000 liters. Once we get as much as we need, then the rest is going in the silage. So we'll only ted as much as we need to turn over and dry. So um, yeah, I'll, I'll do that part instead of instead of letting Joe do that. Uh, I know how Joe is. Once he starts working, buddy, he won't stop. He just keeps on going. So he'd have the whole field. Uh, Tedded here, and we'd have more hay than we need, so we will. Look at that! Somebody planted grass all the way across the road, didn't they? You would think they wouldn't have access to that land, but hey, what do I know? What do I know? I don't know. So yeah, we're gonna have. This is gonna be a big old field. <laughs> I mean, it is. I guess it never really dawned on me till now running the mowers through here at nine meters yeah it's gonna take us a minute to get all this grass that's a good thing that is a good problem to have so like i say i'm gonna run it out as far as it'll let me go out here and stay just off the road see if we can save the road sign there Ooh. but yeah that's uh i think that's gonna do it for this afternoon it is what 4.30 now so it's getting close I don't know if I'll get this done tonight if I do get it done I won't get uh, won't get it picked up but we will for sure get it mowed and get what we need to have turned over and drying we'll get that tetted so I will uh, yeah let me carry on doing this like I say Jesse is taking care of the cotton field for now and I'll have Joe over here running these mowers here in just a second so that's where we're at here at Jockey Inc. We're looking good. We are moving on. So, I want to thank you guys for coming and hanging out with me. I am Golf Cart Jockey, and I want you to have a good day. <laughs>